everybody how is it going this is babylon 5 this is season 3 this is episode number 15 this episode is called interludes and examinations now i'm hoping this means we get a little bit of a breather just because i feel like everybody on board the station needs it because last episode bester came back and he took us to find this ship which was being sent out to the rim by Air Force and we also learned via Bester, which scares me that he's willingly given up information, that not only have the Shadows infiltrated the Clark government, infiltrated Earth, they've also infiltrated the Psycor and the weapon components that were being sent to the rim on this ship were actually people, they were telepaths and we learned that Harking back to something Delenn had said previously about them using living beings in the ships, we learned that they're actually putting telepaths in there. And then, thanks to Garibaldi reading the book of Zhuguan, we learned that the reason why Nans no longer have telepaths is because the Shadows used Nan as a base a thousand years ago in the last Shadow War and destroyed all of the telepaths or mind walkers they called them and now that gene has never kind of been strong enough to pass on so they just don't have telepaths anymore so the fact that they're putting telepaths in these ships we now know that they're scared of telepaths it's now a case of like as John and Delenn were saying like are we going to see a telepath v telepath situation happening here very likely it's possible it could happen so I do hope that we get a little bit of a breather in this episode I'm just going to get straight on into this let's go 10 days ago for the first time the shadows began attacking openly Rikiri space yes so far they've been hitting targets close to the rim the oh. minor powers a few in the league of non-aligned worlds the attacks seem totally random almost senseless were they not random if we thought it was nuts around here before <laughs> this has only made things worse oh shit What? We've had to hire more security personnel to keep things calm. Make sure the wrong type of people don't get on board. Oh, oh, oh shit, oh shit. But without our resources mm. back home for background checks, <gasps> we have to assume there will be lapses. There's a lapse, Susan. I want you to rent a suite for me. The biggest suite in all of Babylon 5. Why? And I want it filled with flowers. Nothing is too good for her. Her? Her who? Adira, after all this time, she is finally coming back to me. We cannot defend ourselves against this new enemy without help. Shit! Is there anything that Earth can do? My people back home have their own problems right now. Including Since we declared shadows. independence, we are not exactly in the position to ask them for anything. Everyone's on their own. Ah. I sometimes think that was the intent. They just wanted you to waste your resources fighting each other. Thank we you! Thought they recognized our value over theirs. It's not about value. Oh, wow. It's, it's, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what the shadows want exactly, but they are not on anybody's side but their own. Yeah. I've asked a representative from the Gaeum to join us here because they are the closest major civilization in your sector of space. <gasps> there are four other worlds in your area that could help the Brakiri. Oh. But they said they would only consider it if your people got involved. Will they? Will you? <laughs> no. We need your government to continue its campaign. Yes? I don't think you have any interest in restoring the glory of the Centauri Republic. No, not at all. No. I believe that. I think you are using us as... Expendable forces. the same. Agents of chaos. If you violate the terms of our agreement... Oh! My associates may turn their eye toward your homeworld. If we could just score one victory against the Shadows, it'd be enough to make some of the others come around. That's true, actually. Perhaps we should give them a victory. Oh, just like that? Just like that. And how do you suggest we do that? I love her optimism. I'm sure you'll think of something. <laughs> it is on you, John. <laughs> Start talking more and more like gosh. <laughs> Display the following blood sample tests. Franklin, Stephen. Awaiting file numbers for display. No, never mind. Abort. Oh. Why? Why'd I do it, Earl? Why, Why didn't, didn't he? Why didn't you do it? Because on some level you've got to know the truth. And after everything we've been through, if you can't oh, talk. Shit. To what the hell's the point? 
Now, if you can convince your government to send out an expedition to engage one or two of their ships, no. I know you oh, can't take the entire ship. That was by an emphatic no. But if you could beat them in just one fight, that could be the break we need to get everyone organized. You could do it, couldn't you? Perhaps, but there are still few of us. It is not our time. Oh. It is yours. Don't turn your back on me. Don't you even try to walk away from me. Just who the hell do you think you are? John. Wait, I know what you think you are, what you want us to believe, but I don't buy it. For three years now, you've been pulling everyone's strings, getting us to do all the work, and you haven't done a damn thing but stand there and look cryptic. Impudent. Yeah? Well, maybe that's the only oh, way to get Oh, that's the fastest you. he's ever moved. You said you wanted to teach me to fight legends. Well, you're a legend, too, and I am not going away until you agree. Incorrect. Shit! Leave now. No. Disobedient. Not yours. Oh, my God. Holy so, shit. The real car shows his colors at last, huh? Oh, I don't like this. You angry now? Angry enough to kill me? Because that's the only way I'm leaving. Unless your people get off their encounter suited butts and do something, I've got nothing to lose. Our only chance is to get the other racers on board for this fight. And right now, you're the key to doing that. Oh, my God. It is not yet time. And who decides that time? You? You put me in this position. You asked me to fight this damn war. He did. Well, it's about time you let me fight it my way. How many people have already died fighting this war of yours, huh? How many more will die before you come down off that mountain and get involved? Colonies, whole worlds are being destroyed out there. Yeah. And you do nothing. That's the thing. He could be doing things when he goes places. How many more are dead before you're satisfied, huh? Shit! Maybe one more death. Well, balance out the books. Oh. oh my god. I will do as you ask. But there is a price to pay. I will not be there to help you when you go to Zahadum. Yeah, you already said if I go to Zahadum, I'll die. Yeah, he did. Yes. Yeah. Now. Captain, Vorlon fleet is engaging shadow vessel. The Vorlon. Who's winning? We are. Oh, man. Her name is Adira Tari. <laughs> the purser found her in her cabin just before they docked. I'm sorry, Ambassador. Did you know her? Yeah. Why did you do this? Poison was always the instrument of choice in the Old Republic. <gasps> Being something of a sentimentalist, I got here first. Shit! I'm sorry, Ambassador. I'll see to it you get a full report. Okay. Check her for poison. Yes. John? Johnny? Dad? I don't have much time, son. What's going on? I want you to know... What's going on? right. I didn't want to admit that. Just... Pride, I guess. And it had to be done. Don't blame yourself... for what happened later. Dad, are you... Still hate for me. I wish I could have done more for you. Uh, there's so much I should have said, and now it's too late. Uh, you're right. It's time you began fighting this war your way. Gosh. Gosh. No sign of forced entry. No DNA fragments. The place looks like it's been through a war. No sign of a body. You will not find one. Then how do you know he's dead? I know. So did the Vorlons. Somehow. They asked us to keep this to ourselves. They grieve for the death of Kosh as much as we do. What are we going to 
Listen to so me, can't you see he's left to again? Seen for weeks at a time. That gives the Vornons enough time to send a replacement. No one will know. He must have known this would happen. As soon as the Vorlons got directly involved. The Vorlon government made one final request. They asked that his encounter suit, everything that was his, be placed in his ship. Oh! Lemo. Everyone around me dies, Mr. Molden, except the ones that most deserve it. That is about to change. Oh, no. Oh, no. You said that you would go away for as long as I wanted. I no longer want that. All I want now is revenge. Shit. I've been taking stems, John. Yes. A lot of them. Yes. Too many. He's addicted. So effective immediately, I am resigning as chief of staff of the med lab facility. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. What? Guess I'll uh, figure it out. Look, look I got a lot to figure out, and it's time I got started. Once cautious belongings are loaded into his ship, it will activate itself. Oh. The ship was made for him. It was a part of him. In a curious way, it is alive. It cannot live without him. So it will grieve as we do, in its own way, and perform its last duty in memory of Kosh. So I thought this was going to be like a really nice little interlude, hence the title of the episode, of like, because of everything that's gone before this, but it wasn't, man. I thought like, Seeing how happy Londo was that Adira was coming back and, you know, getting everything ready for her coming back. John coming up with an idea of how to get the other ambassadors on side with fighting the shadows. But to do that, he had to confront Kosh in a manner that I just never expected. I also never expected Kosh to react the way that he did. But for him then to be like, I'll help you, but there's a price to pay. Obviously, that price was his life. And seeing how... You know, Morden was here and Morden interfered with Adira's visit, finding out all the information he could from that person that Vera had gone to see who was arranging the flowers and other things to then hear that the shadows had lost because the Volons had interfered and the Volons were helping in Brakiru's space for them to go see Kosh himself. And he, as Delen said so many times, he's never on his own. But to see him take the shadows with him and Kosh basically from the looks of things just be torn apart was this was hard and I said at one point like when people are happy things go bad and things went bad and I just feel like even though we had this one small victory now Londo's basically out seeking revenge and he's basically saying he doesn't care if the universe burns, it's like, we are like screwed, man, aren't we, really? Because what we're going to do now, it's like, yes, all these non-aligned wilds have like signed on, but it's like, are the Volons even going to help us anymore? Because Dylan was saying they'd send somebody new, but I don't want somebody new. I'm going to sign off and say thank you, and I will see you guys later, so thank you.